all the way back 60 minutes ago, it was uh, Charlie Fagg who led them away from pole position with Pierre-Louis Chauvet challenging on the outside and Lewis Proctor in third. And uh, Reese Vaughan was trying to get around that McLaren and ended up doing a really good job of doing so. But it was Eddie Chiva, the man on the move in that stage, got himself up into third place and ended up challenging Chauvet for second while Charlie Fagg built up a nice healthy margin. This was that battle for second place that also included the Pro-Am lead battle as well. Eddie Chiva getting right round the outside, Carol Bash following him through and making sure he stayed on the back of the class leader as well. Chauvet ended up finding himself going backwards quite quickly. First of all, with Christopher Haaser finding his way through, and then Lewis Proctor uh, not too far behind him as well. We saw this spin for Jahid Faisal Kareem in the 3R Aston Martin. He ground to a halt on the start finish train. That brought out a safety car and impacted pretty much the entirety of the race because it allowed a fair few drivers to uh, lose less time under the safety car because they were already in the pits. And this is what brought the race to a bit of a premature end. Dan Arrow getting into the barriers and up on his side after contact with Marcos Seabair. Couldn't clear that car in time. And we ended under the safety car with victory for Ricardo Agostini and Nicola Marinangeli for the first time in the International GT Open.